Hello everyone, this is Aida Tomisiewicz from 13 Arts and today I want to show you some simple and easy background techniques for your art journals. I'm starting with uh, blank pages and I'm covering uh, them with clear gesso. Um, use a roller or a paintbrush, whatever. I use a roller because um, it will uh, leave me nice and uh, uh, thick uh, texture. So, uh, clear just so then we dry it a little bit with a heat gun. Uh, so, uh, we can start to uh, create our uh, backgrounds for that art journal. Uh, we will be using different uh, mediums tonight. Uh, these are, these are in arts Aida water inks uh, color yellow amber and olive green and we are adding some water and playing with heat gun to make nice uh, drippings around uh, just play as long as you wish add more water add more inks and play play uh, as long as you're happy with the, the effect on your page so uh, water inks are great for this kind of techniques also for any type of um, of uh, projects. Um, so now I'm uh, using a baby wet wipe to spread the color around, and uh, I will use one more time uh, a roller with uh, some water to make the colors more even around the page. And we are using the heat gun again. <coughs> So now we are adding more colors with Aida inks and now I'm adding also acrylic ink, uh, called, it's called splash inks and where you've got those big points of uh, inks you can use the uh, stick to draw with the ink. I'm drawing some flowers or leaves or whatever you like, uh, different, different shapes. You can just leave this background like that. If you want to make it simple, I will uh, add more texture to it later. Uh, but actually, at this moment, it looks quite nice already. So, um, if you are preferring more simple effects, this is nice, and you can just leave it like that. So, um, just use uh, your heat gun again, make it dry leave it uh, maybe for half an hour or so to dry uh, so we can add another layer of more more mediums and some embellishments so as you can see i'm adding more and more inks and just playing and with water just how you like it uh, the second page uh, is created with aeta paints it's uh, these are water uh, water paints uh, this is yellow matte, orange vivid and scarlet vivid. These are really nice. These, are, these paints are quite uh, thick but if you want, if you add uh, some water, you will achieve a really nice watercolor effect. So I'm using uh, the roller with some water again and I am just playing with the background as long as I am happy. So three colors and now the fourth color is the vivid green. So just a little bit of paint and sponge roller again and as you can see really really simple and quick. So uh, this is our first layer of background. Now uh, we can dry it with a, a piece of paper uh, tower, towel so uh, just uh, it will leave us a nice uh, texture also as you can see. This is uh, our first layer of the background, so we can add some uh, Aeda uh, mists, uh, but this time I will use uh, splash ink. This is acrylic ink, really nice and thick. This is great for splashes, but also as you can see you can draw with this little dropper, uh, but today I will also add some extra um, textures with uh, uh, splashes but also with uh, uh, 
a special tool for drawing but you can use any stick or comb or whatever you've got at home the next page uh, just using my fingers true to draw uh, I wanted to add some really vivid and nice colors today because it's so gray outside but if you want to make it soft and delicate uh, you can just use two colors uh, just to leave it really uh, really simple so just play with your fingers some water and some paints and create a really nice colorful background uh, for your art journal pages I'm uh, splashing with Ayeda mist now because I wanted to make it really nice and vivid with uh, colors so paint mist water and play and some uh, paper towels so just do it as long as you wish and as you uh, and as long as you are happy now I'm adding some white gesso to whiten it a little bit and I'm just leaving it uh, to dry the next background is with uh, more uh, Ayeda paints I um, just wanted to make a really nice blue shades this is matte cobalt paint and vivid blue uh, as you can see these are really nice and thick uh, without water so you just uh, you can just use your spatula to apply them uh, now it just bubble uh, uh, foil so you can use it as a stamp actually so the darker color I will apply over the, yeah, uh, the uh, lighter blue so it is really nice the excess of this paint I can use here as a stamping um, background for my uh, other page so now I'm cleaning um, the, uh, the table and I'm looking for some stamps because I really like to uh, using uh, stamps with uh, my art journal pages so I'm using 30 arts uh, stamps but you can use any type of stamps uh, these are stamps from our uh, winter collections uh, so just apply as much as you like uh, some um, um, background stamps and text stamps whatever you like now I'm using some stickers you can find uh, with almost every collection there are a sheet of stickers with nice um, sentences uh, if you like to add it these are perfect for art journaling too now I'm using some gel medium and sticking a piece of tablecloth white you can also buy it in our store um, but I think you can use any lace or whatever pieces of um, a cheesecloth, tablecloth, whatever you've got. Uh, this uh, I'm adding some uh, microbits. This is my favorite product. I'm really I really love textures with microbits, and um, you know there's um, little embellishments. And I think this page is quite uh, nice already. So as you can see, you can play as long as you like. This is white splashing, some splashes, and uh, I'm also adding some splashes. Uh, over the next page uh, here I added some uh, one, one photograph and some uh, black ink and I'm painting adding some water and painting around the photograph to make a shade and now some stamping over my fourth page and also I will add some um, uh, white gesso with uh, stencils uh, you can use 13 arts gesso to make a nice texture with stencils this is really nice and thick of course you can also use modeling paste but now I've got gesso so it just uh, been quicker to use it so I'm adding some extra texture around with other stencil this is from thir uh, 13 arts of course uh, collections so just add some stickers stamping uh, and uh, just add it to your art journal uh, when, it's, uh, when these are dry. I'm adding some washi tape around because it looks really nice uh, and, and tidy in my art journal. So these are basic uh, simple techniques for tonight. I hope you have enjoyed this show. Thank you very much for watching. For more information and more tutorials, please visit our blog 13artspl.blogspot.com. Dot, uh, 
come out of the PR just